So right now I'm in Google Tag Manager and the first thing we want to do is create some data layer variables based on what's being sent on to Google Tag Manager via Gravity Forms. So I have my uh, Groovy guide open and I'm going to start putting some of these variables in. So uh, GF track category and what I recommend is like naming them DL, which stands for data layer variable. That way, if you're looking at variables, you can see at a glance um, what's being tracked and what, you know, what is the data layer variable and what's not. And so you choose a variable type and I'm going to go down to data layer variable and data layer variable name, which is GF track category. And then you can just leave that alone. And then we're gonna do that for the rest of these as well. So I'm gonna speed this video up so it's not forever. So, uh, and then I'll conclude. Okay, we got our data layer variables in. Um, it's a bit tedious, but you only have to do it once. And uh, once you're done, you can either submit it or you know, save it. What I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna submit it. Oh, version name, uh, data layers. And then publish. And then just go back to your workspace. And then if you go back to variables, it should all be there. And they are so uh, next video will cover the event trigger